My name is Ryan Kirkwood, I'm the Heat Pump Business Development Manager for Baxi Heating. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about what heat pumps are, why they're a really important part of the future of heat, and sort of address some of the misconceptions that you might hear out there in the media. Heat pumps are not a new bit of technology, they've been around for a long time. Now in the UK our adoption has been quite slow and that's mostly because we've really enjoyed quite competitive gas prices when we compare to the rest of Europe's. Now heat pumps themselves have been around um, since 1945 was one of the very first heat pump installations in the UK and throughout all of Europe, especially in the Scandinavian Nordic countries, they have seen them used in district heating and small scale district heating, large scale district heating as well as individual homes and properties for many years in far more challenging climates in the UK. Now if we think to the future of heat, we obviously are concentrating on the three H's which is heat pumps, hydrogen and heat networks. Now hydrogen is going to be a fantastic way to decarbonise our homes, especially those hard to heat properties and properties where heat pumps aren't necessarily suitable as well as industry and as well as things like hospitals and places that need extreme amounts of heat, uh, for example steam generation for certain types of process engineering. However, you think about a lovely cosy home, we're only trying to heat the home to 21 degrees most of the year and that low grade heat that heat pumps provide by taking calories from the air really really makes them best suited for small domestic dwellings. Now not every property is good for heat pumps, you have to make sure that you're taking some passive measures to reduce the amount of energy your building is using. Heat pumps are almost like a little bit of a magnifying glass when it comes to a leaky home or poor installation or poor design. And the reason for that is because we're not relying on combustion, we're not relying on that high calorific, high intensive, high energy process to generate the heat. We're literally taking heat from the air, even at up to minus 25 degrees ambient temperature, and using that to then heat our homes.